Here is my latest LED skateboard. I've said it before, but this is my final one. I just wanted to improve my longboard before I decided to move on completely. Um, this is my pre this is my longboard in a previous video for uh, LED longboard. This is the same longboard, pretty much same LED setup, just a lot better. The circuitry itself is what pretty much makes it better. The thing controlling it is a uh, microcontroller provided from a website. I will link that in the description. It uses a microcontroller, an infrared sensor, a remote, and it just gives you a bunch of options to choose from, which is pretty fun. This is an old enclosure I used for an intercom I made a while ago. The intercom kind of got annoying when people thought it was just for fun, so I pretty much took it apart and used the enclosure, because, uh, one, it's not metal, so it won't oxidize as fast as the Altoids tins did, and it has a nice locking system on it. Let's take a look at the circuitry. There is the two 9-volt batteries in series, creating 18 volts. Uh, here is the 12-volt regulator circuit, right here. A uh, little switch before the input. I'll explain that in the description as well. You can't really see everything else, but there's uh, two capacitors right there. Um, here is the controller itself for the LEDs. It uses an infrared sensor, which runs right underneath the uh, trucks right here. That's mounted through the... That's mounted... Uh, I think underneath the riser and uh, through the skateboard itself to pretty much give you ease of access when you want to change the modes when you're riding. Here's the remote control for it. Um, look at that a little bit. Dim the light. Kind of got a blur. You, you've got more than a few modes. You've got uh, you can select colors, red, green, blue, and the variations of those colors. Um, you can select just white, and then you got a few modes which are. Flash, strobe, fade in, and smooth. You can also control the speed or intensity of certain things. You can control the speed of certain modes, or you can control how bright independent colors are. And of course, you got the off and on button right there. So let's turn this on real fast. Oh, that's another thing. When you turn it on, it pulses. See? So it's kind of a nice little indicator. Let's get this on the floor real fast. Turn off the lights. Come on, but first I want to show you the infrared sensor. Real fast. It's on my messy desk. The infrared sensor is mounted right here. I plan on getting a better longboard soon because I am pretty very disappointed with how this one was built. Um, I thought it was pretty decent, but I, I just overall, after mounting the LED sensor, I'm mean, not the LED sensor, the infrared sensor. After mounting it, I found the material they use is pretty, pretty crappy. Um, for skateboards themselves, they're, they, as, as a skater, you, you kind of know what's good and what's bad. And uh, this material is definitely bad, but I will use it till I can afford a, a decent longboard. Or until this one finally shows it's been used too much. But enough talk, I will show you what the LEDs do. Kill the lights real fast. The switch is needed for one reason, and that's just to not to drain the batteries. You want to put the switch before the input of the voltage regulator, and if you don't, the batteries will drain when you think it's off. So we'll just turn it on real fast. It's on. Let's start with the modes. Let's just go white real fast. Um, let's let's put the intensity all the way up. Or unless it is all the way up, and it's all the way down. See, it's gets insanely bright or insanely dim. Now let's start with the modes. This is at a moderate speed. I like this one better because it's not too fast. The faster it goes, the more distracting it gets. See right there, it's just a blur. But I kind of like it still, but not too much because you don't really get to see the colors. If you dim it down a little bit, you get you can start seeing the colors a lot better. And of course, you can go really slow, which is also pretty entertaining. Another mode, this one is strobe, it just pulsates white. You can uh, control the flash rate of that to pretty fast or really slow, which the slower it goes, the more cool it looks, I think. I like, I like that one on really slow. Another one. 
I think that's on moderate speed too. <clears throat> See, yeah, really fast right there. Let's go insanely slow. I like this one too, really slow, because you get to see the colors blend into each other. And last but not least, this one. The faster you go on this one, it just looks like uh, white, really. So this one's not too entertaining when it's just at its fastest rate. On the camera, it looks like you can see it a lot better, but in person, not so much. So let's uh, dim that speed down a bit. The slowest. It's actually pretty cool. Now we're going to look at all the colors independently. See what's in the red column. Then it turns into green. And you can see it's already switching to blue before you even hit blue. Here is the blue option and the colors within those. Now we got the off switch. 